Hello and welcome to this quick little uh, overview of one of the features in Worldographer. I'm Joe Wexel, the creator of the program, and we had somebody email in asking about how to create coastlines in the program. And it's pretty easy, but I wanted to show you that there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, if you want go, to go with the easiest way, you come up here to Tools, you say Generate Coasts, and it adds a, a little strip of land that matches the terrain color or texture if you're using the uh, isometric icon set. Um, uh, the, for that um, for that terrain type and um, that's the easiest way but of course you don't have control over it you know if, if it's mostly right you can delete a couple of these they're all just polygons um, but if you uh, want a lot of control that's not going to work for you so I'm going to do control Z to undo that and now we have um, we're going to do the second method which is to go to the terrain drawer expand that out and near the bottom here you've got this make coastline button and this does the same thing, but on a hex by hex basis. So you can kind of follow along there if you want to. Um, and then the, we'll get to the third method in a moment, but these are, like I said, these are just shapes. So if we zoom in a little bit and scroll back down a little bit, we can select them. And then you see all the points that make up that shape. And down here, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see um, there's a reminder on how to edit these shapes. And so you've got a control drag to move things around. You've got a shift drag to delete. And then there's a way to also alt click and add more points to that line. So, and then you can delete the whole polygon if you wanna just start that over again. If you didn't like the way that that turned out, you can delete it and go back to the, uh, to the terrain drawer and add a new one. However, if you want the ultimate in control over your coastlines, you can go to Polygon here, and then you can, we've already got this set up to have no border and to have a fill that uh, I believe is gonna match this. And so now I can just come on down and add these and just click underneath the land. And that's important because what we've got set right now is the fact that this layer placement is set to be above water, which is also below the terrain. There's another option that says above terrain. So that means that any icons that are part of your graphics, uh, your hex graphics, um, won't be covered up by that little strip of land, that little strip of polygon that you're adding there. Um, and then on the other hand though there, you might have cases where you've got a hex that's mostly one color but you want to cut out a little bit of water so we can go back up here say we're going to start a new polygon and then this time pick a color that matches the water and then we come here and say now i didn't i gotta change this to be above terrain so now i put that above the terrain now we've got that so those are the ways that you can create um, coastlines in Worldographer. Um, a lot of it is similar to what we had in, in Hexographer, but there's a bit more control and certainly the, the ability to do it all in one step is, is very advantageous. So that's it. Um, if you've got questions or uh, other tutorials that I should do, um, I'm going to keep doing this um, as we continue getting Worldographer out the door um, to a 1.0. Right now we, we're at 0.87 and got another release coming out in the next couple of days and hope to keep on working to get that uh, final 1.0 out there very shortly. Thank you.